It's time for the AFC Championship, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Cleveland. It's the Titans and the Browns, under the lights, on Sunday night. It's the NFL playoffs on EA Sports, and we are at Wintry First Energy Stadium in Cleveland. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl, and it'll be a great one between the Tennessee Titans and the Cleveland Browns. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the, this is the one that's the real challenge. The winner gets a trip to sunny Arizona for Super Bowl 57. The AFC title game is underway from the 10. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. They're led out by Malik Willis, the rookie who started his college career at Auburn and finished with the Liberty Flames. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment, running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We Here saw we him go. doing it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. He'll start on the ground here on first down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Second down, Willis looks to throw here. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Grant Delpit just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Okay, ready. Tough spot for Willis and the Titans, now facing third and long following the sack. Back to throw here. Oh, look at the juke. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. We're able to get the completion, but unfortunately not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. On oh, the return is Williams. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here come the Browns now for their first drive. They'll be led out by Deshaun Watson. Of course, he won a national title at Clemson and already has three Pro Bowls under his belt in the National Football League. And he makes it so difficult for all defenses because when he's got the ball, it's hard to say when a play is truly over because he can create from any spot on the field and in any situation, even when it appears that he's contained. When he's running your offense, a big play could arrive from any possible spot. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 45. Back to throw, Watson. 
And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. He's got room at the 30. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. On this stage, conference championship game, every play is magnified, and that was a big play. No doubt about it. One thing that has these guys a step away from a shot in the big game, their big playability. They can strike from anywhere. Now Cade York for the extra point. Now these are not going to be easy on a cold, snowy night, but this one is up and through. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense, from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? But you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Counting now. down toward the midway point in corner one. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. From the 45 on second down, Willis got his man complete over the middle. That's Woods. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Well, that one hurts. That wipes away what would have been a big play. But you and I both know coaches aren't real big on silver linings. But at least that play call was a successful one. Now the focus offensively. That goes to overcoming the penalty and making all that yardage back again. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. After the penalty, it's Henry. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Willis looking to throw it. It's caught by Sanders. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Again, it's Henry. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now. Titans in possession of the football. As they've got it with a second and ten. Second down. Here's Willis. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now Willis to throw. Nowhere to 
return this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. Austin Seibert sets up for the field goal try. This one from 46 yards out. Seibert able to knock this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Tally, that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. Watson. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And that is incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route, rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. To the air yet again, Watson. Right back to Bell, and it's caught once again. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They go with Chubb on second down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 154 left on the clock here in quarter number two. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Watson. On the crossing route, he hits his man, Amari Cooper. And the Browns are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They set up the screen to Chubb. Yeah, able to use the stiff arm to gain leverage initially, but not much room thereafter. Only a yard of the completion. It's second and goal. The key to any screenplay is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Oh, 
The lone man in the backfield here is Chubb on second and goal. They get it to him running left. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. A pretty big play now in this AFC Championship. Third and goal. Here's Watson. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Browns will extend their lead the final minute of the half. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good, and that pushes the lead up to 11. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. And the Titans getting set to go. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. To the air on first down, here's Willis. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Willis will look to throw on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And brought in downfield by Burks. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Willis looking to throw on first down. Over the middle complete. That's Carter. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Seibert's kick is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Pulls it in at the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Browns drive about to get started. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And this one is incomplete. So we come upon halftime in the AFC title game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. One half remains in the battle to see who will take home that Lamar Hunt trophy and represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. 
We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back at action from earlier. Continuing on, here's a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Titans. And I can imagine the halftime discussions are about how can we improve the running game? They have not had success so far, and it's reflected on the scoreboard. Meanwhile, for the Browns, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked, as they have the lead through two quarters of play. Both these teams going through their final adjustments before the second half. Which one will lift the Lamar Hunt Trophy? To find out, let's go back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Browns offense getting set to go to work here to start the third. And I think here with the lead, CD, they have to resist that temptation to kind of looking ahead. Would you agree? Absolutely, I would agree because they know the stakes. They know the winner of this game goes to the Super Bowl. And this one, it's far from over. They were the better team in the first half, but they do know that they're facing their toughest opponent of the year. And they've got to be prepared for them to fight it out all the way and add a few extra wrinkles in the second half as well. They need to stay on guard. That's interference. Ethan. Trying to cover Cooper there a little too closely. And he's such a tough oh, cover because he runs his route so well. Hard to stay with him and hard to figure out exactly where the break points are. And in this case, he created another pass interference call. Following the penalty, Chubb. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. From the 17, Watson. And he will find his man, Schwartz. That's complete. And the Browns are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Well, looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Now it's Watson. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Well, they frustrated these receivers tonight, really held down the passing game, but there got the penalty. Fine line between aggressive, good coverage, and interference. And they crossed it on that play. Chubb is into the end zone for Brown's touchdown. Well, we have seen the stiff arm get a bit of renaissance here in recent seasons and that was pure strength there as he forced his way into the end zone and when you think of guys who use the step arm so effectively i go back to guys like earl campbell walter payton some recent guys like marshawn lynch let's go to the way back machine bronco nagurski he dealt out a wicked step arm the york on now for the extra point It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to six. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes the return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive 
Looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. A shotgun handoff to Henry. Runs over him. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Flush to his right. Skirts by him at the 35. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brandon, you know I'm all about quarterbacks protecting themselves, but I have to admit it. I liked what I just saw there. That rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit. Now, you don't want to see him taking those shots all game long, but he picked up the first down, kept fighting for yards, and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 49-yard line. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 more yards there and another first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quit in this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And some room to maneuver. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That one 28 yards on the ground. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. Now Willis to throw. And finding the tight end Hooper. And it's a Titans touchdown. Austin Hooper, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call First tacked foul. on. Roughing the kick, roughing the defense. defense. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Watson now to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. One quarter remains until we crown the AFC champion. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. To throw is Watson. And he's got Cooper on the out route. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Watson hooking up with Cooper there for the Cleveland first. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs. And they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Chubb with a carry on first down. It's not going to yield much, maybe a yard. It's second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground, keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. 
And now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Out of the gun, Watson. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Watson. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Six yards left on second down. Again, it's Watson. That's out to Chubb, complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 30. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. On first down, Watson. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know, bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the deep blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. Well, not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now Chubb running right. And he'll get this one down to about the ten-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They run it again with Chubb, and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run with Chubb. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. Jedrick Wills, former first round pick, guilty there. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Now it's Watson. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle reset and try something different. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. New York now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From the 10. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here is Willis and the Titans. Down by 15, just over a minute 40 to play. Their Super Bowl hopes hanging by a thread as they come up on first down. Willis to throw. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Willis rushing him to the line in a hurry here. On second down, here's Henry. And some space here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now Willis. To 
Henry. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. He's got Henry. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Here's Willis. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Willis, got to have this one. He'll get that one to Carter complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that may put a period on this AFC Championship game. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. For the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Throwing now, Watson. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. Touchdown, Amari Cooper. 56 yards. And the Browns are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. So obviously they will decline the penalty there and the result is six points. The penalty is declined. A York on now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Here we go. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Now their back's really against the wall now. They knew how tough this would be on the road, AFC title game, and they have gotten all they could handle and then some. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. From the 39, Willis. Flushed out right. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. The Cleveland Browns are AFC champs. As we say, good night, everybody.